Thank you, Ron, for taking the time to do this and talk about your experience with data governance and, and Colibra. Let's, uh, let's dive right in. Can you talk a little bit about the challenges that you faced before you started on data governance? Sure, I think uh, one of the biggest challenges that we faced was trust in the data. You were getting conflicting uh, reports and people not really having that same level of trust in the data. Uh, the other big issue was the fact that people weren't sharing their data. So those are the two big challenges. Yeah, that makes sense. And was that across the organization? Or were there business lines or departments that were more impacted? Yeah, it was pretty much across the organization. Okay. And like specifically um, the roles of people that were mostly impacted. Can you talk a little bit about that as well? Yeah, it, it would vary because, again, you had certain groups within the university re reporting on this information. Data was coming from a variety of different sources. Uh, somebody would ask for the, an answer, and he'd get three different answers from yeah. that. Uh, so. uh, uh, sure. Um, can you talk about what you were doing before you um, started with Colibria? Uh, how you were coping with or facing these challenges? How you yeah. were coping with that? So again, the, some of the biggest challenges, again, we, we had these pockets and I, I like to call it spreadsheet governance. So different people would have their data dictionaries, they would have their different business glossaries. Some might have it on the web, um, but it was scattered amongst. It really wasn't a unified source. Okay. Can you talk a little bit about your thinking as to when you realized that actually you needed something more robust as to just press sheets? Sure, so it really kind of started with really identifying the, the people, getting the processes in place, and once we got that going, it, it became very clear we needed technology to really kind of take us to that next step. Uh, what was particularly important in that technology that you uh, understood was, was critical to be successful? Yes, there were, there were a couple different things. Again, when we went out looking for a, a technology, obviously a business glossary, uh, a repository were, were very key to us. But one of the really big things that we were really looking for was the workflow component. Okay. There were certain things that we wanted to enable um, with workflow, whether it be um, our re report certification or our um, data sharing agreements, those are the types of things that we really wanted to kind of take the tool and take us to that next level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess the collaboration was important and that was one of the things that Absolutely. why share, why, why Excel didn't. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, uh, that, That's good. Um, can you talk a little bit of, of, of the process of bringing in, looking for a technology and then ultimately bringing in Colibra? Sure. So again, the, the process in our case, it started with the traditional RFP. We went out and find the usual suspects and find out who, who the, the key players are out there. Um, and then the real key in our case was actually the proof of concept. That's where we were able to actually work closely. In your case with Calibre, I, we put some of our skin in the game, really. Mm -hmm. Likewise, you put that skin in the game. And that really kind of proved it out for us. Yeah. The, the proof of concept was, was uh, the thing that really sealed it for us. Uh, uh, and can you talk a bit more about that? What particularly in the proof of concept or in the technology of Colibra and solution and Colibra solution yeah. um, really spoke to you? A absolutely. So again, we were able to engage our users and get them involved and actively kind of see the progress that we were making with this tool and say, all right, what would you like to see? And we were able to, again, working with your folks, we were able to say, all right, let's implement this, and we would kind of work our way up to the next step. Okay. Uh, how would you describe the the before Colibri and after Colibri, right? How would you compare those two? Um, it's light and day. Yeah, you know, it was before it was, it really did not exist, and, and now governance uh, really does exist with uh, Calibra. Uh, uh, uh. And what, what helped you, what, what did we do as Calibra to help you the most in that transition? Again, I think uh, starting with the, I guess, the 10 day starter pack, right, to kind of get us up and going and getting uh, our feet wet and getting us comfortable with the tool was very key to what we were doing. Uh, and then again, just working with you along the way, uh, and even to this day, using things like Compass and actually being able to ask questions and get responses yeah. have been very, very helpful for us. Okay, fantastic. Can you talk a little bit about your future plans on how, did you, how do you expect to expand the usage of the, of the product? Sure. So again, not just with the with um, the, the traditional data governance, but we're starting to expand that more into things like data integration. Right. That's one of the things we're looking to use the tool to actually help us with that. Uh, we'll be doing a lot of work with data quality, as an example, and bringing that into to, to Calibra as well. Okay. So it really is becoming an kind of almost a platform within, within the organization. That's right. That touches on a lot of different things. It really is. It's a portal. It's a data governance portal. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much. Absolutely.